We wanted to know how does a earn a child's trust? How do they pray right under their parents' noses? I want to come to you in your bikini and bra and slay you, my love. Are you ready? Let's do it. Damn, that's a nice, juicy butt. Those men, some of them, will be committing serious criminal offences in sick children. The victim is the only one who knows the monster. I took her innocence. I took her ability to be a child. Ooh, nice body. Perfect. Too sexy. Ooh, I have an election. Nice souls, beautiful feet. I feel a bulge in my yum eat that. They first r the child's mind and then in order to r their body. And in most cases, they use the most popular social media networks to communicate. But it's Instagram which is seeing the most troubling rise. You earn a child's trust, it becomes easier to push the boundaries. That's correct. Super gorgeous young babe. Girls. 14 years old, 1,500 videos. What age for a s partner would you find attractive? In a purely physical sense, I would say seven, eight years old. Seven, seven eight, years old. eight years old. So if you're anything like me, then right now you're probably thinking, what the actual f I mean, I knew going into this video that Instagram was already pretty crazy and that there was a lot of weird sh going on. But to actually look at all of this content back to back for hours on end just makes you want to throw up. To be quite honest, this was the first time I actually considered quitting a video because the more I dove into this story, the worse it got. However, I still think it's important to show the full depravity that's going on on the platform, despite what Facebook and Meta are trying to tell you. It's really important that we investigate the group, so if you're able to share the details of the groups with me, then I can work with my colleagues who do the investigations on these, make sure that we're investigating and removing the content that shouldn't be there, and also deal directly with law enforcement. Yeah, that's a lot of words that mean f**k all, since the only thing that Facebook and Meta really care about is the adult female nipple. Because showing even the slightest bit of nipple as a woman will get your account suspended, or even banned. Now Instagram has even gone as far as to ban accounts that were posting breastfeeding photos. Obviously this caused a massive storm, causing them to reverse their policy and update the algorithm. But this clearly shows you that Instagram is very good at finding specific content on the platform and that they can quickly update the algorithm to remove any content they deem inappropriate. So then why the f can you still post like this on the page of an 11 year old? This is insane. Somehow this comment can just stay up there and as you can see it's far from being the only one. Now if you agree that this is f***ed up and needs to be changed quickly then please like this video and comment down below so that more people become aware of this problem. That is the current state of Instagram but trust me it gets much much worse. Because I wanted to write a script to scrape the Instagram servers to find all of these weirdos and their f***ed up comments however this is actually illegal and not only will this get your account terminated but Meta and Instagram will actually sue you in court if they find out you're doing this on a large scale. Now I have no problem going up against delusional YouTubers with bull legal threats. Get the legal people to do it for us and then they're gonna hit you guys where it really hurts your pockets. <laughs> no. However, going up against a $430 billion multinational while actively violating their terms of service and documenting it all in a video on YouTube, that seems a bit stupid. So in order to not bankrupt myself, I decided to do everything manually I simply asked the question, what do perverts like? And so I typed into YouTube, gymnastics vlog, and bingo, Whitney Bjorken with 1.6 million subscribers popped up. Now I clicked on her Instagram page and right away you can see that she looks very young. So with a quick Google search, we find out that she's born in March of 2005, making her 17 right now. You see, this photo was posted in February of 2021, meaning that she was 15 at the time, about to turn 16, and just look at the comments on this photo. Now writing this to a 15 year old is sick and weird, but when we look at the last comment, that one really gives off some serious f***ed up vibes. I mean tell me this does not feel like a serious stalker. Now when you combine this particular comment with the comment right here, and you start to see why social media is absolutely destroying young girls minds and creating some serious eating disorders, because why would you even type this type of s***? But hey, that's a topic for a whole nother video. Anyways, this is all just the beginning and things just keep getting worse and worse from here. Because when I scroll down to May of 2020, I found a seemingly innocent photo where Whitney has just turned 15. However, one of the comments grabbed my attention, so I clicked on this guy's profile and right away things get weird. I mean, forget the very obsessive referencing to God and evil for a sec, and also forget that these photos look weird as sh**. 
So when you click on one of these photos and you see comments that other people have made, then you know that this guy has been posting a lot of weird on the platform. Clearly he's been doing this so much that other users have been calling him out for it. Now it's important to note here that anyone can create an Instagram page and pretend to be this guy, especially if these photos are publicly available somewhere else. So we have no way of knowing if this guy is actually the one controlling this account. However, that does not change the fact that some seriously creepy stuff is being sent to underage girls and that some accounts are even openly advertising that they have clearly illegal material of 5 to 14 year old girls. How the fuck is this shit not getting deleted for violating basically any policy that you could have on the platform? Companies need to understand more so than ever, ever before that they have a social and a moral responsibility to protect children and to prevent the abuse of children. And the bottom line is that they are not doing enough. Because I am not allowed to scrape Instagram looking for these weirdos under threat of a major lawsuit, but these guys can operate freely on the platform, that is f***ing madness. This is all just very disturbing and Instagram really needs to step up to have their algorithms stop focusing on grown ass nipples and start focusing on what accounts like these are actually doing to harm young users. Because when you start looking into what this guy has been doing and which other accounts he follows, then things start to get seriously f***ed up. The accounts that he follows are some seriously f***ed up fetish pages of which I can definitely not show you any material or this channel will be deleted in 5 seconds. It's already weird that I had to rewrite and re-edit this video a dozen times just to make sure I didn't get a strike on the channel for simply reporting on f***ed up activities going on on Instagram. We would sneak around and find ways to meet at the mall or, or meet at the movie theater because this whole situation thrives in secrecy. It will never survive in the midst of the light. And we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of this massive problem because when you dive into this network of creeps and fetish pages, you start noticing something that in the world of hacking we call a honeypot. This is similar to the behavior of some of these Instagram pages, however instead of keeping the system safe, they do the complete opposite. Remember Whitney Bjorken from earlier? Now she's very popular on social media, which often leads to multiple fan pages being created. Now there's nothing wrong with the fan page itself, since these right here are some perfectly wholesome fan pages. However, when you look at this particular fan page, it's clear that something's off. Just by looking at these images, you can tell that this was not created by a normal fan, and when we click on one of them, you start to see the troublesome tags placed on these photos. This is not a 14-year-old fan that wants to show the world how amazing their hero is, this is clearly someone with bad intentions. Now the danger of these fake fan pages is that you're basically luring actual teenage fans to a place where predators are simply waiting to attack. I've seen dozens of fake fan pages, some better disguised than others, and even very suspicious teenage lesbian accounts where the creator claims to be an underage lesbian that is looking to date other 12 to 15 year olds. Now I found all of this manually in just a couple of hours, so imagine what I could find if I was allowed to scrape Instagram for a couple of days. I think the result would be astronomical. Now the crazy part is that Instagram seems to be more concerned with developing more advanced age verification methods like facial recognition and AI techniques as they say to hunt down those evil little kids that are trying to pass for 18 because yeah obviously that's the real problem here. It's so stupid to claim this is done for safety reasons since all of these measures are just geared towards limiting what underage users can do on the platform but it does absolutely nothing to stop adults from doing f***ed up shit. Now I don't want this video to solely be a bashing of how bad Instagram is or how they are failing to actually protect their underage users which is why I also would like to offer some solutions to the problems. For one, Instagram could simply do the very same thing that YouTube did years ago and that is that for any content made by or for kids, the page should have their comments disabled. This would solve so many issues, not just the group part, which is obviously bad enough, but also things like cyberbullying or creating eating disorders by commenting on how fat or skinny these kids are. A great cutoff age for this would be 16 instead of 12 or 13 that is used for some other features right now. Another easy to implement solution that Instagram could activate right now is just like how they are using the algorithm to detect the oh so dangerous female nipple is that they can use it to detect the age of an individual in the photo, even if the account is run by a management company or a parent, which would give them adult privileges. This age qualification should immediately prevent any sexual comments on that specific photo. It all boils down to the fact that Instagram and Meta easily have the technical and financial capabilities to prevent any of these comments and fetish pages on the platform and that they are simply not doing enough to stop it. 
This was the sick and dangerous rabbit hole of Instagram. Please like and subscribe for more videos.